Welcome back to Houston Life. Chili lovers unite for a sizzling showdown at the 16th annual H-Town Chili Throwdown. Yeah, it's an exciting weekend full of music, activities, and of course, chili, and it's all for a great cause. Joining us now with more on the event, our general manager of Cedar Creek Cafe, Danny San Miguel, and social media manager for the Creek Group, Javier Montemayor. Welcome to you both. Thank uh, you thank so you much for having us. And congrats on the 16th annual. So for people who have never attended, you can essentially eat your way through the afternoon. Absolutely. Uh, we have over 20 teams participating. We also like to provide some fun food. This year we're going to do kind of like a carnival theme situation, so that'll be neat too. Okay, and it's a competition though at the end of the day because oh, yeah. first place you're going to get $1,200, yes, second place gets $500, third place gets $300, and then People's Choice $500. So essentially everyone is walking around, they're tasting, they're eating. Mm -hmm. The teams are really fun. They all have different fun names and themes, and then you're voting on which one's your favorite. How does that work with the voting? And do you need a bracelet to try all the chili? Yes, so for $35, you get to taste all the uh, chili, and you also get to make your choice for the people's choice. So we give you a ticket, and they just you just cast your vote, but you only get one ticket, so you've gotta, you know, you gotta try them all. Try them all. Try them mm -hmm. all. For sure. And so, Javi, the chocolate element is really interesting. This year you told teams that they each have to somehow incorporate chocolate into their dish? Yeah, isn't that weird? You wouldn't think chocolate would go in chili, but apparently a lot of people do add chocolate to make it, uh, make the texture better, kind of like mole, yeah. mm -hmm. which is good. So we're kind of excited to try all of the chili with the chocolate. It's, a lot of the times people say you don't even taste it. It's more of a texture. So we are. Other than the chocolate though, is there any other rule or like people just going all out however no they want beans. to? No beans. No, no beans. beans. I like oh, beans. We, I, what? we love beans. We're bean I eaters. Mean, but I you're. Wait a minute, Danny. That's an actual rule. <laughs> I should, dropped. I a, know. I should have brought the rules. Of, it of is rules. probably size 20 font, Dang highlighted, <laughs> bold. No beans. Yeah. What? You can do whatever else you want. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. So we're no seeing beans. Some images from past years of people enjoying their bowls of without beans <laughs> in them. It's funny to me how it's such a raging debate about beans, but is there any other ingredient aside from including chocolate and excluding beans, any guide they have to follow or it's just make the best bowl of chili you just possibly can? Absolutely. Yeah. And every, I mean, it's totally subjective because everyone's taste buds are different. Ro when Rod hosted this, we yeah. had so much fun. I told, I was telling Derek in the commercial <laughs> break, I said, I could not peel my mom away from this chili cook-off. <laughs> I love no that. No one was having more fun. As I mentioned, Rod Ryan is going to host and it, there's going to be live music. I think there was face painting last year. There was. I told people, look, if you can't stay there all day, wherever you're going to in the evening, just go there and fill up on food Absolutely. and then you, you'll be good to go. I got my uh, Roughnecks logo painted I on remember, my cheek. remember, yeah. <laughs> so here. cute. Okay, what are we doing for the demo? Because it smells and looks amazing here. Well, we are featuring our traditional like Texas Frito Pie that would serve at multiple locations oh, for the yeah. group. Mm -hmm. Frito Pie. So we start with, I guess we're building it, Jessica. Let's build it. I'll we build it. I'm ready to build. The chips. Okay. Of course, Fritos. Fritos. Yes. Get in here. I'm going to do my own little dish with Fritos on my queso. I know, you're vegan. Yum. Yeah. Um, well, vegetarian. Well, vegetarian. But also, <laughs> you all have had a lot of chili over the years. What do you think makes the best bowl of chili? I like some heat, personally. Yeah? A I'm a spice. spicy gal, you a little know? Spice. A little, little spice. spice. I like beans, but I guess I'm not supposed to say beans. <laughs> Don't no, say the B word. Oh, Derek, okay. Okay. The B word. Chili yeah, next? So we'll do, well, we Actually, do queso. We do queso. Actually, so Derek's got the, the mode right. Can you hurry? Sorry. I would. I too would like some queso. Anytime white queso is around, you know I hone in on Just that. Just give him a straw. Just I give honestly, Derek a straw for the I, white queso. I am right behind you, Derek. Don't what, worry. Okay. What is the worst bowl of chili you've ever had? <laughs> Oh uh, maybe something out of a can. <laughs> really? Right? When you think? I don't know. Oh, I don't Should know. We? I'm just wondering. I don't necessarily oh, at mean the, at the competition. I, I was going to say, I would never say that out loud. No, not at <laughs> the competition. I just mean in general. In general. In my, general. I can't think. Do you have one, Tessa? No. Well, speaking of my wonderful mother, oh, who God. I couldn't peel away from the cook-off, <laughs> she one time, I said, hey, what's for dinner? She said, there's a can of chili in the in the, in no, the she pantry. Oh, my God. And I oh just said gosh, that. Oh, my gosh. Mother of the year. <laughs> mother of the year. I hope she's watching right oh now. Oh, my God. You know what, sis? I it's food, and okay. you know what? You, you didn't go to bed hungry, right? No, I didn't. I, you know what? Actually, chili, the, even the canned chili with some chips, I mean, oh, no, who, maybe, maybe, yeah. Okay, maybe I should, you know, yeah, you don't like it, you're not try hungry. it, right? I've always liked canned chili, actually. Really? Not bad. Yeah, where did okay. this white I'm going to come to try. 
That is we make it. Stuff. We you make, make, that? Yeah. make that? Yeah. Wait, at all yeah. the restaurants? All the creeks, yes, sir. Can you tell our viewers just the, the massive amount of restaurants you have? Because we go to Piggy's. <laughs> Brandon and I go to Piggy's all the time. Uh, yeah, after kickball, right? Yeah. That's awesome. So uh, we have six. We have Cedar Creek, Onion Creek, which we're here representing today for the Chili Yummy. Cook Off. Yes. We've got uh, Canyon Creek on Washington and Westcott. Okay. Cactus yeah. Cove. Cactus Cove, girl. Okay. Yes. And we're just there, there for a mile of me. Yes. And what's the barbecue place down in? Queen's Barbecue in Galveston, Galveston. is our newest oh, one. So, oh, so good. All right, really good. Well, this is delicious. Mmm. Mmm. You have to pull me away from that. <laughs> good stuff. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Dan, Hattie, thank you yeah. so much. Thank we'll you see so much. Weekend. That's awesome. You have to buy tickets in advance or at the door? Yeah, you buy Either or. at Eventbrite mm -hmm. online or at the door. It's yeah. $35. So. Well, okay. thank you, and family friendly. Yeah. Thank, family -friendly. thank yeah. you for making it easy Super for everybody. Okay. And by the way, we have shared a link on our website if you'd like to learn more about the H Town Chili Throwdown. HoustonLife.tv. Just click around, you'll find it. There you go. After the break, well, during the break, I'm going to eat that. But after the break, a look at what's coming up on tomorrow's show. Don't